if you're on a pre-owned market to buy a used iPhone, there are some iPhones that you should avoid buying. So in this video, I'll take you through a list of all of these iPhones and I'll tell you why I think you should avoid each one of these iPhones and I'll give you an alternative iPhone that you can buy instead. Let's get to it. So starting off with the first iPhone to avoid on the used and pre-owned market, that is the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6S. The iPhone 6 is no longer supported by Apple, so you won't be able to update it to the latest iOS. And also these iPhones were released in 2014, so it will be hard to find one that has a good battery life. So you are potentially buying a phone that has a poor battery health. Sure thing, the iPhone 6 is one of the best iPhones ever. It was the iPhone that introduced big screens iPhones. Before that, we only had the iPhone 5, which only had a 4-inch screen. And for a long time, the iPhone 6 was one of the most affordable iPhones. Most people bought their first iPhone as the iPhone 6. But now the time has come for us to move on from this iPhone. It is no longer one of the best and the most affordable iPhones to buy out there. The second iPhone that you should avoid right now in the used market is the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. Just like the iPhone 6, the iPhone 7 is no longer supported and it will be difficult to find one that has a good battery health. Of course, the iPhone 7 is a better option as compared to the iPhone 6, but it is not a good option overall. You can perhaps look at the iPhone 7 Plus because that was a bigger phone and it had a bigger battery. So meaning that ideally it should have a much better battery health. So if you insist and if you are on a tight budget, then you can look at the iPhone 7 Plus. But overall, you should avoid these three phones. The iPhone 6, iPhone 7, and the iPhone 7 Plus. The third iPhone that you should avoid is the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. These two iPhones are still supported on the current iOS 16. However, there are rumors that they won't be supported on the iOS 17. This will be confirmed in June at the WWDC, so you can wait and see if this will be true. However, even if they do support it, this is probably the last iteration of the iOS that you will receive on the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus. So of course, the iPhone 8 is a better option than the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6. However, if you really like this type of iPhones that have the old body design with a fingerprint scanner, then I suggest that you look at the iPhone SE that came out in 2020. So that is the iPhone SE 2 or look at the iPhone SE 3, which came out in 2022. So both the iPhone SEs, they have more power, they have more of the latest processors, so they are better options than the iPhone 8, especially the iPhone SE third generation that came out in 2022, because that stands a good chance of receiving the iOS 17 update. So you're better off buying the iPhone SE instead. So if you still don't know where to buy pre-owned iPhones, I have a whole video where I give you a list of where to buy. So look on the description below. I'm going to include the link to that video so that you can know where to buy pre-owned iPhones in South Africa. So if you're interested in buying one, the iPhone SE 2020 will cost you somewhere around 6,000 and the iPhone SE 2022 will cost you somewhere around 7.5. And if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe and follow for more. And on to the last iPhone to avoid on the pre-owned and used market, that is the iPhone X. The iPhone 10, surprisingly, is one of the iPhones that I think you should avoid. Just like the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus, the iPhone 10 is rumored to be cut out of the list of the supported devices on iOS 17. However, I am very disappointed at this rumor because the iPhone X or the iPhone 10 is one of my favorite iPhones ever. It is one of the best looking iPhones out there and it is one of the iPhones that revolutionized iPhone and that changed iPhones for good. It was the iPhone that brought the all screen LCD and also the face ID. So I really loved that design and I was expecting it to have at least one or two more updates, but it looks like the reality of things is that they will cut it out from this list. So if this is true, the iPhone X is no longer one of the best options in the pre-owned market for the new iPhone designs. However, I would recommend that you go for the iPhone 11. The iPhone 11 will now be the most affordable modern design iPhone in the pre-owned market. And in addition, the iPhone 11 packs good processing power with that A13 Bionic chip and it also has a good dual camera system. And it was released in 2019, so you should be able to find one with good battery health. And also the iPhone 11 is still available brand new, so that means that the pre-owned market for the iPhone 11 is not bad at all. 
you should be able to find some phones that were bought about a year or two ago so those should still be in a good condition so the iphone 11 starts somewhere around 8.6 in the pre-owned market obviously that depends on when and where you buy it so all in all the iphone 8 and the iphone 10 are still pretty decent phones because they still support the current ios 16 all i was saying was that there is a chance that they won't be supported on the ios 17 so if you say you don't have budget for iphone 11 you can still consider iphone 8 or the iphone 10. so this is just something that you need to be aware of in case you decide to go for these two phones and that is it we've come to the end of this video let me know if you agree with this list down in the comments below and don't forget to like share and to subscribe i'll catch you on the next video